Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about decimals, one of the most important topics in mathematics which is usually taught in 5th or 6th standard. This lesson plan was developed in collaboration with Ms. Swati Kale ma'am. This video portrays the activity based teaching learning method and it helps to understand how teaching learning can be most enjoyable and creative. The main objectives of these lessons are to find out the relationship between fractions and decimals, identification and representation of decimals and comparing decimals. To introduce this topic in an interesting way, an activity measure the vegetable treasure was taken. The entire class was divided into groups and for each group, two to three vegetables were given. The students were asked to measure the length of the vegetables with the help of ruler or measuring tape and they were supposed to measure them accurately. Here, the decimal numbers were introduced. It is sometimes noted that the ruler which the students are using can have an error. The zero mark will not be the starting point at this time. So, it is better to clarify the doubts arising out of this offset. After the introductory activity, the first main activity is divided into four parts. For the first one, two paper straws of equal length were made. Cutting one of these straws into ten equal parts and coloring one of them. Students were supposed to observe the difference in the length of the colored piece versus the full length straw. Since the students already knew about whole numbers, it was told to them that decimal numbers are nothing but the number of parts of all the divisions made. Here in this example, we have made 10 divisions. The students were also asked to explore the relationship of the parts with the entire straw and also what each part represents. For the next section of this activity, we took the example of a ruler. Here, we represented the centimeter by the straw and millimeter by the each pieces of the straw. Students were asked to read the ruler in millimeter and convert this reading into centimeter. For example, they can read 3 millimeter in the ruler and convert it into centimeter. This would help them to understand the conversion of millimeter into centimeter and also understand the decimal place value. In the next part of activity A, the students were asked to take origami sheets or square paper, make a grid, divide it into 100 parts by marking 10 by 10 column and rows. After the grid has been made, shade the area on the sheet that represents 0.01 part of the total area. Students were also asked to shade 23 boxes and explain its relation as 0.23 of the total area of the paper. Similarly, we can make more divisions like 100 or up to 1000. The students were supposed to notice that these numbers are smaller than the smallest whole number that is 1. In order to facilitate deep understanding of decimal number system, a game of dice was played with the class. The entire class was divided into two parts and a group of students were selected from each group. So, three students from one group and three students from another group were selected. Dice was given to each student and they will roll the dice and based on the rolling of the dice, the number would be represented on the board. On the board, Two columns were made and that represent the decimal number places. So, the game began. The groups noted down the digits as they are getting rolled out, thus generating a decimal number. 
This can be repeated with different groups for two to three times depending upon the time available. In this way, each group will end up generating different decimal numbers. The winning team will be the team with the higher value of decimal numbers. So, this type of gamification helps you to understand the place value as well as the face value of the decimal number system. It is also easy and fun way to play with the numbers and understand the entire decimal system. For the next activity, we have to find out the relationship between the fractions and decimal numbers. Let's see how we can do that. Make a paper strip and divide it into 10 equal parts. Color one tenth part and write in terms of decimal. Subsequently, ask the students to color one fourth part and half part and ask them to write it in decimal points. Using a number line that will denote 0.5 and 0.25 will greatly help in better understanding of the concept. To check the understanding of decimal numbers, we can pose question to the students about conversion of fractions into decimals and vice versa. Before going to the next activity, I also ask students about their native places, how is the weather and what kind of temperature differences are there in the cities that they have visited. With the help of printed maps or digital maps, the students saw the application of knowledge of decimal numbers and as to how these decimal points and digits help us understand the temperature of any place with precision. Students could also note the temperatures of different places in India and find out the highest and the lowest in the given time. You can also give examples of rupees or chocolates so that the student can relate to it. To wrap up the lesson, few questions can be asked like to find out the length of the desk or the bench on which they are sitting and express it in terms of meters. You can also ask questions like how much will be the cost of 2.5 dozens of eggs when the cost of one egg is 3.5 rupees. Discussion on the size of microorganisms can lead to understand the concept of decimals very nicely. Teaching with activity based method, we found that the students were really involved and excited, especially when the game of dice was played with them. I could see the spark in their eyes when they found out what are decimal numbers and how to compare different decimal numbers. I hope that some of the activities you will surely try in your class. Do share your experience with us. Thank you.